I'm David Story, and this is The Look News 411. Just a few weeks after a fire destroyed a popular Boston Spa Italian restaurant, and Augie's has announced they'll soon be serving up their popular dishes once again. The owners have announced that they will open a temporary location on Lowell Street in the village, just down the road from their original home. That building was destroyed by fire earlier this month. The owners say this location is temporary and they are meeting with architects to rebuild at their original location. Police have arrested a naval student for allegedly robbing the CVS drugstore in Boston Spa. 20-year-old Richard Slisik, Slisky has been charged with robbery with a deadly weapon. He's accused of entering the drugstore on Doubleday Avenue last Friday, showing a gun and demanding Ritalin. Police say they made the arrest after they received a tip. Now, numerous pieces of evidence were recovered during the investigation. Slisky, who is based at the West Milton Naval Site, was arraigned and sent to the Saratoga County Jail after failing to post cash bail. A sex offender has been arrested for allegedly meeting two young children on Facebook and spending the night with them at a Lake George hotel. The Warren County Sheriff's Office arrested 31-year-old Curtis Mallon of Warrensburg. Police say he was found to have been in the company of a 15- and 10-year-old boy and spent the night with the boys at a Lake George hotel. Now, the boys were acquainted with Mallon. However, both believed he was 18 years old and knew him under the name of Joe Tadbit. Police also arrested Mallon's mother, 60-year-old Darlene Mallon of Queensbury, for allegedly providing her son and the young boys with transportation to various locations. Now both are locked up at the Warren County Jail. Well, Sam the Bugler Grossman has pleaded guilty to driving while ability impaired. Grossman was in court Tuesday morning where his license was suspended for six months and he was ordered to pay $555 in fines. He will also have to attend the state's drunk driver program. The man who has become a trackside fixture was arrested on Geyser Avenue in Saratoga Springs early Saturday morning. Well, we are getting set to enter the final stretch of the Saratoga race course. Wednesday marks the start of the final week of the 2013 racing season. The final week features Veterans Day at the track. On Wednesday, all veterans and active military personnel get free grandstand admission, while on Friday, closing ceremonies will be held on the 150th anniversary racing season. And on Sunday and Monday, it's Family Day at the track. And on Wednesday night on Look News, we'll find out more about the Final Stretch Music Festival taking place this Saturday and Sunday across downtown Saratoga Springs. Anna Marie Bellantoni and Susan Farnsworth from the Saratoga County Chamber of Commerce will stop by for a chat. But for now, that's your Look News 411.